For farmers to produce high quality products, they need ways to protect their crops from weeds, diseases, and insects. These pests can cause serious damage to plants. Herbicides are used to control weeds, fungicides are used to control disease, and insecticides are used to control detrimental insects. All products can be sprayed onto fields through a sprayer to promote healthy, productive plants. Spraying can be done via a pull-type sprayer, a self-propelled sprayer, and or airily by planes, helicopters, and drones. Prior to spraying any of these products, the farmer or their agronomist will walk through the field scouting for any issues. It is imperative to scout so that the spraying can be done as effectively as possible, at the right time, with the right product, and making sure the product gets applied correctly for optimum success. For example, when applying herbicides, each crop has a specific period of time called the critical weed-free period. If weeds are allowed to thrive during this period of the crop's life cycle, moisture and nutrients are removed from the soil, limiting the crop's ability to reach full yield potential. Farmers will also scout for insect pressure on growing crops. If the farmer finds an insect issue in the field, in some instances, they may apply the product only to targeted areas. With some pests, however, the farmer must prophylactically spray the full field. It is important to note that the different insects will appear in different conditions. No two years are ever the same, and farmers constantly assess throughout the year for different pests. If known conditions and insect traps have indicated potentially high insect pressure, farmers will use seed treatments to protect the seed from insects or use other soil-applied insecticides. Crop protection products are applied at different stages of the crop's growth in order to be more prescriptive in application. They can be applied prior to planting, prior to the crop emerging from the soil, during crop growth, at crop flowering, prior to harvest, and sometimes even after the crop is harvested. Proper timing of the application is extremely critical. If a product is applied too soon, it could be detrimental to the plant or ineffective to the pest. If it is applied too late, there may be no response as damage may already have been done. Herbicides applied in the early spring often have residual effects that can help control weeds for a longer period of time, rather than just at the time of application. And some fungicide products applied when the crop is growing require specific sprayer setups to help ensure the product covers the plant completely while minimizing crop damage from the sprayer as it moves through the field. Some products contain certain usage restrictions, including how much time must pass before a crop can be harvested after the product is applied. This is called the pre-harvest interval. Because farmers adhere to these and many other application restrictions, they ensure our food is safe for consumption. And as with everything related to grain farming, the weather needs to be considered. Wind speed, temperature, and future rainfalls are very common challenges when spraying. If the wind speed is too low or too high, it could cause devastating effects. If rain arrives too soon after the application, the product may be washed off and become ineffective. Or if the temperature is too cold or too hot, the crop may be damaged from the product being applied. Farmers need to be quick to respond and change their spray programs to overcome these challenges. Sprayers are used to apply the proper solution at the right rate onto a target weed, insect, or crop. The sprayer keeps the product in solution by continuous agitation. Rate controllers make sure the proper amount of solution is being dispensed through the various sections of the sprayer boom. The sprayer nozzles and the pump pressure ensure the proper droplet size and solution volume is being achieved. Each herbicide, insecticide, and fungicide that is applied in Ontario has a product label that is approved by Health Canada prior to becoming commercially available. The label outlines the uses, application methods, timing of application on crop, rates of application, and any safety or usage precautions. Farmers who purchase and apply their own crop protection products must pass the Grower Pesticide Safety Course, which outlines how to keep themselves, their family, and the environment safe when handling and using pesticides. This training is mandatory for farmers that choose to use crop protection products in Ontario. Of course, there is a cost to the farmer for the crop protection products themselves. Farmers must balance the cost of application with the return on investment. 
They must choose the best product based on their balance sheet as well as their individual fields. Farmers will often do check strips on their farms to determine which product is most effective for their unique fields. Even though the products are proven through science to be effective, each field can be unique and one product might be found more effective than another in certain instances. Today's sprayers use modern technology like GPS, auto boom shutoff, and boom section control to ensure a consistent amount of product is applied across the whole sprayer boom, even when going around a corner. These technologies help ensure the most efficient and precise applications of crop protection products. By protecting their crops from pests, Ontario grain farmers are providing safe and healthy products, while also protecting their soil, their farm, and the environment.